Suntland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome, it's Chris back with yet another fragrance review. And today we are looking at a beautiful female marketed fragrance that very much fits this um, environment. And I'm gonna show you this beautiful bottle as we deep dive into the grass. And there it is, released by the house of Salvatore Ferragamo back in 1998. The parfumeur, the nose behind this fragrance is Monsieur Jacques Cavalier. And the fragrance is called Salvatore Ferragamo pour FM, for women. But we're gonna come to that. We're gonna come to this marketing. First of all, the bottle, it has this classy Salvatore Ferragamo twisted bottle that we see with the poor om version as well, right? And this one is equally special as the poor om version. Jacques Cavalier has really done a tremendous job with his fragrance. And it, as I said, it's really um, what you see here. It's a grassy, fresh, floral, classy, beautiful, easygoing, lingering, springtime, early summer, fragrance okay how did monsieur jacques cavalier achieve that now there's tons of notes if you look at fragrantica there's tons of notes listed for this fragrance um the notes that stick to me most are really green leaves um cassis uh, a bit of um blackcurrant raspberry um some floral notes that I'm not able to define with my nose because I think it's it's a it's a uh, it's a mixture a blend of several floral notes there. But what you get at the at the end is a very much grassy, fresh springtime uh, fragrance that could have been worn somewhere in the 19th century. I feel it's I don't know it's not it's not dated, and it's not uh, you know. Um, old woman smelling but it has a class that is somehow not of this current time yet at the same time it's eternally beautiful this is one of the uh this is one of the fragrances that um i really think that is one of my favorite along with uh, Julio Iglesias only and Versus Gianni Versace one of those on Miss Dior for example i would even say i would even come to the point that to, to state that this is a modern day Miss Dior uh, fragrance it's so beautiful it's not for everybody because it has a it does have a muskiness and it does have a a unusual um, scent to it that is, is not is this is not a bubblegum sweet girly summer scent this is a scent of a of a of a, of a woman who is um, just eternally gorgeous, um, very, uh, very much stylish, um, but easygoing. Never, never pushing the envelope. Just, just, uh, just a natural beauty. It's very natural smelling to me. Although at the beginning, if you smell this, when the whole blend hits you, it's it's a bit um, overwhelming, I would say. But that settles. It settles into this fresh, grassy, clear-cut, um, joyful, gorgeous female scent. Okay, and yet at the same time, at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, and I have to say, I have to say that I have a, a great time wearing this myself sometimes when I'm in the mood. Why? Because it's just so nice. It's just, it smells so nice of this gorgeous, the grassy theme here comes across so gorgeous that that it could be, you know, it could be genderless, this fragrance. Although at the same time, it has a classy feminine backbone to it that it's on, that is undeniable. So it's, it's really a, it's, it's really a, 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 a twisting and turning fragrance in that sense, just much like the bottle, because it, it, it just leaves you speechless. It, it makes you, even as a man, uh, it makes you want to wear it, yet at the same time, it makes you acknowledge that this fragrance is for a classy, humorous, gorgeous, stylish, 
uh, woman. Okay, I'm again. This is one of those female fragrances that I uh, that I love the most, and certainly one of the best fragrances by the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. And Jacques Cavalier has done a tremendous job. So, this is like walking barefoot in the park. Okay, absolutely stunning and beautiful. Thanks very much. This was Chris from Scentland, and see you soon for yet another fragrance review.